Hi guys, today I want to talk about this. This is the work of, yeah, not a bad neighbor or something or children. This is the work of moles. Yeah, they are crazy animals. They like to dig up your whole backyard, especially at uh, like uh, places where you don't like it. So I had this ongoing for years and years and years. And yeah, when you have something like me, um, hold on a second, <laughs> I have to find the right pictures. Yeah, so uh, as it looks with me, I have my yard and close to the house to protect like uh, so that i don't have to mow close to the home or especially where i have my cage i don't want to have to mow uh, close to the cage so i wanted to have a little bit of gap like for lights and to protect the um yeah the the, the, the mesh and uh, so i wanted to have this and yeah when, when it was done it was really looking good i had this done from my landscaper and he just digged out a little bit of uh, soil and put in the gravel and that was it so for the first couple of weeks it was really nice and then the mole came and they started digging these bad holes so every day I had two three four five of these at every corner and yeah whatever I did it uh, it didn't work they came up at another spot I did a lot of things i was walking around stamping on the floor uh and, and 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 a lot of things which people say yeah it should actually work didn't work so it didn't do anything so it didn't improve i had all these work what i did then after that i digged everything out again the whole gravel i took it out put down a mesh like which you have to protect against uh, weeds i put it down and put the gravel back and put these um, stones like pavers i put this in and i thought it will be good so it was good for quite a while uh, but it the, the, the mesh didn't protect against the moles it was just because we are work we were working for quite some time hammering whatever so that drives away a little bit the moles but they then they came back and that was the result and this is ongoing you see even the uh, pavers he has been digging out pavers and it's horrible especially when you have the mesh uh, underneath it's a lot of work and yeah it, it, you're going crazy and what i did i was going to the internet of course amazon whatever was trying to find something this is what you get when you when you type in mole killer uh, it's not everything killer uh it's there are also things to just uh make them move away solar things solar uh, pet, uh pest repeller uh, things should work for everything uh, actually it works for nothing uh, I mean it it, <laughs> it doesn't help only uh, it, it helps only the seller to get some money but uh, otherwise it, I mean I, I I've been using a lot of them for a long time didn't do anything I had different kind of them uh, really it, it do, did nothing expect waste my time and waste my money and some even produce some strange uh, high frequent beeping which was really annoying especially for, for children so this is what you don't want to buy here we have the poison thing uh, I've been using that for a while uh, and I think it somehow worked but actually I'm an animal friend and I hate t killing these uh, actually nice animals which are uh, I mean good actually for your uh, loan and they just make a mess with everything else if you have a really uh, good uh, healthy loan it doesn't 
it, it won't damage you can see that here on my pictures uh, beside uh, here on, on this side where, where I have the nice um, thick soisha what's that oh my goodness I hate these uh, notifications can tell me can somebody tell me how I can get rid of these I have actually disabled notification and it drives me crazy and the phone as well I'm going crazy <laughs> I'm sorry about this whole thing this is really so I'm back hopefully a little bit more quiet I don't know <laughs> not necessarily so yeah just the the the, the loan on the side you see uh, it, there has been nothing no, no, no the whole time no no bump no pile of uh, whatever really nothing just here here that that that, that, that that's a problem with the mole so um yeah uh, but i have been uh yeah putting this down and it, it, it killed some moles I was pretty sure, but uh, yeah, I didn't like that. And, and and one came out and died, and I was not there. My neighbor had to remove that. Yeah, a little bit of pain. So I, this is what I actually didn't want. So here you have also this mole killer worm bait. These are really expensive. I don't know if they really work. A lot of stuff you can you can even traps that probably kills them. Yeah, not not very nice if you love animals um this uh thing which produce some some deadly uh fork um yeah a lot of things so yeah uh anyway so i have actually not found the real thing either it didn't work or it was too poisonous or yeah and when you go to the internet you actually find a lot of pages where people are discussing about how to get rid of the mole problem people are discussing and discussing and discussing there are thousands of pages and people and and and, and if you go even to youtube there's not a I haven't found a real solution for that, especially when you have wide areas. I mean, when you have small a small area, you can put down some some stuff if you don't mind to kill the mole. If you have a, a couple of ten uh, square feet, you can put down this, and it will probably work. Even with that, maybe two or three square feet. Yeah, you can put down maybe, but uh, no, I, I think I I have seen that. And right beside of that, the mole has been digging. So uh, it, it's really hard. You can put down mothballs. Uh, maybe you can do something with small areas. But if you have big, large areas, like thousands of square feet of this, there's no way to work efficiently. And I've all, all, almost given up and... Then uh, I, I've been looking through, through the whole English internet and I'm also uh, speaking German. So I went to German sites as well and I've been looking for weeks and there were mostly the same uh, things. People are recommending same things um, and yeah i've tried everything it didn't work i've put down like eteric oils or eucalyptus uh, tea tree oil uh, when you have small areas and you can put down a, a, a lot like i mean it's noticeable smellable then it helps but here with large areas you would need gallons of uh, tea tree oils and it would cost you hundreds when if not thousands of dollars so it doesn't work so yeah at the end what I have found on one or two German sites this is the thing now it comes the final solution that really works for me Ta -ta -ta. this is it <laughs> yeah this is really uh, 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 amazing nobody would think about that that's a normal uh, fertilizer I mean yeah here we have these cots turf builder uh southern southern wheat and feet uh but uh they decide in german has suggested to just put on double amount of the fertilizer which you you uh, usually uh, would put on 
in my case I have put on the regular amount which they suggested and it already worked this is really amazing and I almost missed the point because I just went to the uh, went to the store I bought this applied it and after a couple of weeks I noticed hey the molds are gone hmm okay first I thought yeah maybe it's just the time of the year maybe in autumn when it's a little bit cooler in Florida not really cold a little bit cooler maybe they they, they, they are inactive and I've been looking through the internet and they say no they, they don't have like seasons where they dig different or more or less uh, maybe up to the north when there is snow and ice and everything frozen of course that's a different here when it goes down in the winter to maybe 70 75 degrees no difference at all so yeah this is really the thing that worked for me so I think if it doesn't work with a regular amount put on the double amount but of course because before you put on double amount you have to check uh, I mean two things you are not allowed to put this down the whole season are, uh, for several areas it's limited usually you're not allowed in summer when there's a lot of rain and uh, I would really recommend that you try on I mean you can put on the regular amount but uh, if it's not working against the mole uh, just put it double amount on a very small area to check if your lawn will tolerate the double amount and if it doesn't tolerate maybe you can just apply it then on this if you use the Scott's uh, rotary uh, thing and you use the etcher then it's possible to put on just the uh, fertilizer on this area which where it's actually not needed but it works against the mole because somehow it seems that they don't like too much fertilizer I don't know if they don't like the smell or if it affects their food chain or whatever I have not found any indica indication about that but it really seems to work at least it worked for me and uh, the other people were uh, proving that on the other website so I think this is a hidden secret uh, very few people know and yeah I give it to you for free you can use that and uh, you just have to buy the fertilizer which you usually anyway have to buy so not much additional cost uh, yeah that's it so if you have any questions comments whatever just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time